I don't know what this is. See, there you go. See the layers in that? Hi, hi, friends. It's Yvonne. Hi, hi. I'm at American Classics because I needed to pick up this up for someone. It didn't sell on a live sale, so I brought it to the booth, and then someone messaged me and said, hey, do you still have that? Yes, I think I do. <laughs> and I have to pick up my tax. I'm almost done with taxes, but I forgot one thing. My 1099 from here. So, just popped in. I'm not stocking the booth today. That's pretty. This Linux. Look at that. Um, I just kind of rearranged things in my booth real quick. And I'm go shop a little bit make a video oh that's pretty look at this satin let me see how much that is look at that you guys 55 they don't say who's it is oh imperial that makes sense I was gonna say imperial or West Orland. that's pretty and one other thing I noticed this wasn't here last week they're asking 85 look at this nice little empoli looking piece it's about 18 inches tall. Pretty awesome. Let's go look around. <laughs> That's how I felt yesterday. <laughs> After doing all kinds of taxes. $48. That is so cute. Look, there's a shoe missing. A little old-fashioned bottle. That is so cute. Might as well take a peek at Becky's booth real quick and see if there's anything I should pick off the floor or straighten up. Ah, I'm still loving her new. I'm still having trouble getting over how cool it looks in here with her mom's IKEA stuff in the backlighting. Yeah, awesome. She's just two doors down from me, you guys. Hey, I didn't see that. Look at this. Wow, Becky. Hang on, you guys want to see what this is? $36, just a blue vase. It does have some writing on it, but I cannot read. Washing instructions. Cautionary for candles. Wow, you guys, look at that. Oh, there's a tag. This is that. Evolution by Waterford. Oh, that's their diffusion line. Yeah, that's still pretty. Why are you hiding that back there, Becky? <laughs> I'll put it back. But I feel like that should be over there with the lighted showcase. I do. I think Becky is out of town right now. Yeah. Little ashtray. I'm not sure what she's doing, but I heard something about Texas, so. Must be a show or something. She might be back by now. And then my boots. This one and the one next to it. I painted the inside of that cabinet when Sis was here helping me. But I haven't made it back yet to put the shelves back in. They're right there. And uh, start to fill it up. I've got to do taxes first. But I did take a moment to kind of rearrange some pictures. Kind of rearrange some stuff over there since I'm not bringing in new inventory. At least, you know, rearrange things. There's something about touching things, giving it some love and attention, I swear, <laughs> makes things sell. I believe in metaphysics after, you know, 40 years of selling things. And uh, there used to be a really cool um, smoky ashtray on a pedestal, kind of Italian looking, right here, $48. And it's been there for a while, super cool. And the last time I said, you know what? If that's here the next time, I'm going to take it home. I love it. I touched it. I told it <laughs> mentally how much I loved it. And guess what? When I got the email the next day, it sold. So there's another testimony for that. There's just something about it, you guys. I don't know if you believe in metaphysics. See, how Pat, you scared. There's Patrick. Patrick scared me. You're stealthy, dude. For a tall guy, you're kind of stealthy. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just rearrange things a little bit. All right. These people always have epic furniture. Epic, epic. I 
think last time I said, I was like, let's go through some of the cases. So let me breeze through anyway some of my favorites and see if they've been in and put up any new stuff. Do that real quick and then I think I'll do some of the cases before I go back home. We've got time. I'm like 99% done with the taxes, so it's cool. Just needed to pick up the paperwork from here. I forgot to pick up. That's Christopher's boot. He lives in Denver. Hey, that's interesting. A little Mexican pig or puppy with a celebratory scene on it. I don't know if he's been in. I think he looks like he has been in because this is rearranged. Yeah, Christopher's been up since I was last in. I'm just going to meet up with him and last year at ThriftCon. He was one of the people I was going to meet up with, along with the eldest daughter up in Denver, when Satin died. My cute little Jaguar Satin. I'm still pouting over that. I just want you guys to know. The only reason I stopped pouting, I couldn't find another one to buy. But I did manage to stop pouting because my husband let me have um, his FJ, which is super bad. I mean, it's so cool. We call it the Smiley Mobile. So that kind of softened the blow. I, I don't know. I'm kind of a brat like that. I just cannot drive a boring vehicle. I just can't do it. Like, why? <laughs> but I think I am going to take the gear knob off of um, the Smiley Mobile. I had a custom Jaguar gear knob on satin and uh, when I gave her up to the towing people, the reclaim people, I took that off and put the stock one back on. So even though the FJ is not a Jaguar, I think in memory of satin, I think I'm going to put that on there. My husband's probably not going to like it, but I'll save the stock one, put it back on whenever I'm done with it. I do kind of like sitting up high again. 90 for the blendo, you guys. I do kind of like sitting up high again. I always had um, trucks and SUVs. And then when Hannah was done and on her own, I was like, I'm going to buy my teenage love car. There's a whole story about that. I'm just chit-chatting, you guys, for music. There's a whole story about why she's called Satin. It's actually hilarious. So when I got her, it was a Jaguar. She was fixing to go to auction. They had it for a while at this dealership. I would pass by it every time I left the salon. And um, I'm like, no, don't go and look at that. You'll buy it. And then one day I said, heck with it. And I'm glad I did because she was on the rack. They had just put her on the rack. How much is that? $14.95. That's a pretty ap apple or peach. Peach course that's nice stuff they had just put her on the rack they were done they were done trying with her there's nothing wrong with her I don't know what the deal was she ended up being a good car for all those years never caused me any problem she was just at the end she just was done but anyways okay here's the story you guys let's look at this jewelry first costume jewelry Ooh, little mushrooms what there we go <laughs> those are adorable for four dollars they're glass. That's probably about what I would sell them for, but you know, if they're still here and you guys want me to pick them up for four dollars, I will. All right. So while we're looking, I'm gonna keep chatting, you guys. Okay. So satin. Okay. So I was a young girl, like still in high school. One of my first jobs was um, Taco Bell <laughs> yeah. in high school before I started going into retail. Hey, that's cool. Five dollars. That's cute. I mean, it does kind of look like a Ross thing, but it's different with the moon kind of moon glow, moonstone cabochons in there. All right. So, and there's this lady, real fancy. And she had this little Jaguar, and she, after her working, she was a hairdresser. That's what she said. She wouldn't even park. Okay, it was like that. But I forgave her because she was just too cool. She wouldn't even park. I'll pause now and then to show you guys prices. Forty nine ninety nine. That's new. Combination vintage box. That is super cool. Fifty bucks. That's super cool. 
Okay, so she would just pull up, not even park on the side, and she'd get a burrito supreme to go all the time. And she said her name was Satin. <laughs> so that's what happened. And so when I bought that car and I was telling the girls where I worked, nine ninety nine, that's cute. It's a fur bank. At the salon that I worked out of, excuse me. Nineteen ninety nine. And they were all teasing me, they're like, Satin? <laughs> They're like, she was probably a dancer. <laughs> I'm like, no, this would have been like the 80s. No, she was a hairdresser. She, she was. Because she was a little older, you know, for being a, a dancer. A topless dancer is what they were teasing me. Anyway, so we named that car Satin. <laughs> Add to the story, and I miss it. But I do love the Smiley Mobile. Ooh, look at that. That's a big one. Let me see how much you are. Are you just display? Oh, no price. Oh, there it is. I found it. Hang on, you guys. Somebody painted it. $129. It's just plastic, though. Plastic carousel horse. That's the story. But not to sound too braggy I guess some people haters will probably say but hey when you have cool stuff in your life celebrate it. I don't care if some people can't handle it and don't want to take it as inspiration whatever but if you like Jaguars don't worry my husband happens to have one too we just don't drive it that often we save it for special occasions but if I ever need that fix I can whip his out his is even cooler than satin both of them were the old school styles that's what we liked about them they had the retro styling they were 2006 and his is 2009, but they were the retro styling, and that's why we love them. They're really not that expensive to buy if you can find one. Mine was an X-Type, if you can even find one, you guys. Let's see if there's anything new in here. What is this? If you can even find one in good condition. Well, that's different. It's kind of a greenish black kind of onyx. Oh my gosh, it's got... Okay, I gotta make sure you guys can see this. Let me get it under the light. I don't know what this is. See, there you go. See the layers in that? Thirty-eight dollars. I love this. I've never seen anything like it. All layered. All iridescent. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so that was that story. If you're new to my channel. I chit chat, okay? We keep the music down. <laughs> I told you guys that's my husband's motorcycle, it's a fat boy. Alright, let me move on. This is this is one of the booths I usually check to. Every once in a while she'll have something in here and here's an example that I guess she wasn't quite sure of. This I thought it was an artisanio in Canada, an AR I call him for short. Um, there it is. This is an older one, retired. Did you guys know that they made some enameled like that? This is only the third one I found. The very first one I found was a fox trinket. And I actually sent that to Jocelyn because, you know, three years ago, that's where I learned. That was the first person that I saw, personally, that talked about it. And so that's how I learned about it. So I thought she deserved that. Just like I sent Kate the very first Edward Mobley piece that I found. <laughs> A rabbit too. That's when she had her that's when she still had Rufus. Twenty-eight dollars. Not bad. That's a good price for someone for themselves, for sure. You guys know I'm a big gift giver, friend mail. And in your guys' packages I always put some kind of trinkets. I already bought you guys a pack. I didn't show you. I'm not going to. <laughs> I already bought a pack of cute things for Easter for some of you. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if not, you know, just pass them on to somebody else. All right. You know what? Let's go check a couple people in the warehouse. Cat and the jewelry girl. And then I'm going to do cases today, you guys. I think I showed you guys this booth. They just came in last month. So they're still here another month. That's good. 
I don't know how they're doing. I haven't seen the owner in here to talk to them. But interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, some are missing. One, two, three, four of these are missing. So there's that. I think she's been in. It's a few new pieces. That does look more full. But yet, I couldn't really see anything. It's got to be something new to me on here because it looks more full. Okay, the turtle. Eight. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that one. Eighteen, yeah. Of course, you know, I'm going to pick out the good stuff, huh? That's pretty. That looks new, too. Sorry, I've got to tell you how much. It's hard to see prices on these. Twenty. That might be new. I'm pointing at all the higher end stuff, so for resale, you know that doesn't work for me, but that's pretty with the jelly belly, moonstone jelly belly in there. That's new. There's a new one. Ten dollars, that's pretty. The enamel rose. Okay. Well, let's swing by and check cat. And then let's go look at the cases for today. I got it. Cat's Kitchy Vintage. I still have to figure out how to contact her for the friend mail. That big box of, um, she sent that big box of like little things for assemblages. That box full of Christmas stuff. Oh, I like this. Look at these little dudes. $16. Mass produced, but good job, actually. That's still a great job. Is she having a sale? 50% off, yeah. And furniture is 35 What? That would only be $8? feel like I should go ahead and buy it. You guys are just going to send me back up for that one, I bet you. Oh, a little Avon Kokeshi-like doll. Loves my flock stuff. I'd get that for three fifty, but I already have one. What is this? Kamoys of London. Tobacco humidor. Self-sealing. Oh my goodness. Fused. She says it's signed rinse. Cat's been shopping. Still love this. So this would be fifty dollars. Still love that. Courtendorf. Some pebble art. Ha ha, who wants to make that? That plastic grid stuff? But look, it's got extra. It's got puffy puffs. Look at that. That would be fun. I think that's a gun cabinet or wine. I'm not sure. Lots of empty spaces, probably because she's got 50% off sale running. That's a good sale. Those. I've sold one of those before, so that'd be 25 for that one. Oh, and I found this as I was cruising through. I said, hey, wait a minute. That looks like me. That's my tag. So I'll put that back. Okay, I made it back, you guys. I made it back to the cases. It's been a long time. Let's see, 30% off. Yes. So 30% off everything. Alcohol lamp with a wick.
Mary Gregory Art. Thirty-five dollars, thirty percent off. I like. I'm looking at that owl in the back. That white milk glass owl. Toothpick or match holder. What is that? One hundred twenty-seven minus thirty percent. Amp. Nineteen. No, wait a minute. Eighteen nineties. Amethyst hand-blown revolver pistol figural pocket whiskey flask. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot. Rare kerosene tea warmer. It's got red panels of cut to clear in it. Uh oh, I'm gonna be in trouble with this one. Uh, solid 925 sterling silver. I should probably move right along. I should. <laughs> things for myself although I usually treat myself when I get my taxes done but I like that big ring there you guys know how I feel about these kind of statement rings that's a but okay that's a problem darn it yeah I do darn it. <laughs> I'm trying not to buy something for myself but I gotta see that hang on you guys she's gonna open that for me all right, she opened it up. It's $139. It's a size 9, so it does fit, you know, like in place of this one, you guys. The wings kind of stick up, but I think that could be bent down. I'm not in a hurry to drop that kind of money on myself. You guys know how I am. I'm so cheap. But if, I'm going to keep it on that. If that goes on sale, I might splurge on that one, you guys. And then there was another one she showed me that I wanted to see this one. This one's 95 Let me zoom in that one see it that one right there it's only a seven and a half though and again I'm picking out things that are gonna be kind of cumbersome to wear whoops wrong way sorry you guys wrong way let me zoom in on this one you guys okay it's in there upside down but it's a butterfly okay and it's like this one that I love you know where it kind of goes down your finger that's the look I like All right, quit drooling. <laughs> I'm just going to film for you guys. That's all I'm going to do. All right, you guys, I'm editing. I'm at home now. I'm going to stop here, and part two will be tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? $10 for that little flower bouquet, that little black thing. Mm -hmm.